Okay, welcome to part two of my uh, craft room tour 2018. Um, if you didn't see the other uh, part one, I hope you will go check that out as well. Um, so for this one, it should go a little faster than the other one. There's not as many drawers to pull out. So I'm going to start here at the top of the island. And this is that wall I mentioned that needs decorating because it's just you know, a blank white canvas <laughs> wall. Um, but, you know, I don't know when that's going to happen. So, I don't know if you watched the video I did. I had to do a voiceover for that video because it was horrible. Anyway, those are my um, wild orchid craft flowers and uh, crown pins and things like that. One of my daughters when she was about five years old and in dance. My carousel. This obviously has, well, I shouldn't say obviously, I don't know why I'm using that word. Um, this is where I keep, you know, stuff that I use often. The scissors and hole punches and all that kind of stuff. And then I just got these. I saw somebody using something like this to put glue on really intricate uh, things, die cuts, and I went on Amazon and bought these. There's like, I want to say I bought the 100 pack, but they came in like 400s, and <laughs> I'm like, I don't think I need 400 of those, but 100 should carry me a long way, so, um, and they have these tiny little heads on them, so hopefully that'll work out. And then I'm going to come around here, so I showed you this cart. So we're going to walk around to this section here and I have this um, unit ink holder thing here has like retired Stampin' Up! inks and the refills. I always buy refills and these are my tattered lace. Uh, sprays and I have yet to use these Lindy Stamp Gangs. I haven't even mixed water in them yet. But I will. I will. And then these are the current ink pads. Except for, oh, I don't know about those. I'm not going to say that. I got to check the catalog. But all these other pads are our current colors. And then I keep my tissue in one of these wicker baskets so it's nice and neatly tucked away and then that just has some um, small um, like some 8 by 8 and different size um, paper packs <laughs> that's what I was trying to say and then here's where I keep all my Tim Holtz inks distress inks sponges uh, keep this uh, distressor. I have a few of the oxides I haven't opened yet. And then I keep all my different Stampin' Up! Uh, my trimmers are right here. Um, this is my envelope board. I have two of those. So that if I ever have someone working with me or I actually have a class again, I will have more than one that people can use. So there's the, this is not the envelope. Is it? No, oh, it is. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Sorry, it's a carpet. Oh, this is the box board. Okay, so my box board. I think I only have one of those actually. This is a gift bag. So I just keep all of that stuff in there like this. This is, these are um, just for embossing and they go with this stamping, uh, stamping um, stampin score board. I've got miscellaneous things down here. My, there's my labeler. Uh, there's some no, oh, chalk's in here. That's not chalk. I probably should sell that at the grass sale. It's just some, um... Oh, no. 
No, I don't know what I'm talking about again. I'm not going to sell that. That's um, oh, for making like fur on your images. What do you call that stuff? Oh my gosh, I haven't used it in so long. How sad. I have all my Stampin' Up! pastels. Um, I like them. I don't want to get rid of them. Uh, these are little cubes of the craft inks we used to sell. So I keep all of those in there. I've got my foils. Some of my foils are here. Got a good deal on those. That's why I have so many of them. Got some buttons. Probably, oh my goodness gracious. Flowers, brads, those kind of things. And these are some, like some of the earlier things that I bought um, when I first started in paper crafting. But they are still very, very useful. And this is just more little flowers. Nothing too exciting. Some brads. Or, not brads. Oh my goodness, what do you call these things? <laughs> I can't think. Uh, they're not grommets. markers out of there and put them where I can see them. Okay. Ugh. Thought I was going to go through that quicker than that. And just some more things for these are embossing paste, um, embossing powders, just some more like I've got uh, perfect pearls in here. Magicals, that kind of stuff. Some acrylic paints. I recently got. That's just three little uh, bird cages that I want to decorate. Some large ribbon from some big box store. Probably, uh, I don't know, Costco, Sam's Club. I don't know which one. <laughs> we usually use it for decorating packages and stuff like that. Um, some of it's too thick for cards. Okay, so on this side of the craft table, I recently uh, purchased, started purchasing these little clear drawers. I really like them. I'm putting my embossing powders in them so they're right there next to me. I used to have them in these other containers. Um, if you look at some old tutorials of mine, you may see them. And they took the regular size uh, plastic spoons but these don't. So I purchased these cute little <laughs> spoons from Amazon. They're just little taster spoons. They're perfect. I saw people using these tiny spoons and I'm like, where did they get those? That's just too cool. So, so now I have them. I just got them like this week. And then in these top drawers, I keep my sequins. I don't have Hold I need to glue these together so they don't move around. But I have, I mean, I have plenty. I just, I don't have an overabundance. Um, you have some more. I do have some that are on a, you know, on a ribbon roll. So, I have plenty for making shaker cards. I love making shaker cards. And that is my washi tape holder and then my oldest son got me that sign thing for Christmas it's so fun I gotta order the black letters too I thought I was gonna make my own but now I don't know if I want to go through the trouble <laughs> of making my own or just buy them buy a set of them so if you watched my Dollar Tree haul that I did um, I showed you a roll of contact paper, though this isn't as sticky, I don't think, as the contact paper. Um, and this, uh, the whiteboard, it's just a whiteboard, I don't know what they call this stuff. Post, no, it's not poster board, what do you call this? Foam board, yes. The white foam board, and I said I was going to wrap it and see about making it my 
uh, using it for where I do my tutorial. So um, that's how that turned out, if you were wondering. So this is where I do most of my crafting. Uh, well, let me put it this way. <laughs> this is where the crafting begins. Eventually it goes all around the table and all of the room. I don't know why or how that happens, but that's what happens. <laughs> so, but I do record the tutorials right here. So under here, underneath the island, um, this is just a few of the paper pumpkin box uh, kits that I have. When I get to another part of the room, I'm not going to actually show you them. I'm just going to show you how many containers they fill up. Here are my old ribbons, Stampin' Up! ribbons. This is not old. We are carrying this fun paper stuff right now. And I got it free uh, with my order, which is why I have it. So, when it's fine. I don't have to shred a bunch of paper myself. You can, you know, of course do that. But it's so nice that I just have bags of it. Uh, my, oh my goodness, my binder. The, what is this thing? Oh, my cinch. <laughs> this is actually really fun to use. And then a couple of different size um, of Xyron machines. I never got the big one I wanted to get, but I don't need it. I've gone this long without it. Over there are a bunch of different size, mostly 6x6 six six paper pads. This, uh, there are some candles in there, some miscellaneous stuff. Miscellaneous stuff in there, it's not, it's just junk. And here I have some stencils. And this is mainly for my e-brushes. And here, I keep things like my uh, adhesive sprays, mostly. That's what's mostly in here. Here's a spray and seal. And then we've got the, well, that's to remove the sticky stuff from your Cricut and your different die cutting machine mats. But the stick and spray, I have a lot of that for re-sticking them. Uh, alcohol, uh, the little bag. Little bag of tiny spoons I just recently bought from Amazon. Uh, I was trying to, in the past, I've tried to use these gloves uh, to keep my hands from being too messy, but they they're they're too loose. So we recently started investing in these because I was also using them in the kitchen, but they were getting on my nerve. <laughs> so we started buying these gloves here and I took some for the craft room a um, whole lot easier to you know do what you need to do in the kitchen without trying to keep the glove on your hand and then um, what else I have uh, just Mod Podge is in there uh, I thought my gesso was in there oh yeah there it is my gesso that kind of stuff okay I know, not that exciting. And I'm trying to do this. Oh, oh my gosh, so sorry, so sorry, so sorry. That was horrible. <laughs> I was having a hard time doing that with one hand. Uh, and then page protectors used for a couple of different things. Oops, let me put these Swifters back. Um, we no longer use the Swif Swiffer sweepers, so I use these for dusting in my room. Uh, this is more of my jewelry making stuff is in there. This is a cool uh, light for tracing. I love that light. It's super thin and it works very well. Um, this is a crafter's companion. Oh my gosh. It's for... Um... You know, it's for um, embossing, mainly. And you emboss, you make different types of cards with it. Uh, you use it for, you know, creating apertures and cards and all that kind of thing. What the heck is this thing called? Oh, the ultimate. 
So that's that, and then I have some extra stuff for it in this box right here. Uh, okay, and then I'm going to come around to this section, and this is going to be the last part for this part two, which is probably very long. Um, so this is another IKEA table. I'm just going to stay here on the floor for a minute, I think, since uh, I need to get to that stuff underneath. So this is another IKEA table, IKEA table, and I keep my main printer there, and this one is a, uh, it prints the larger size, so they're great for scrapbooking. Um, and over there is my eBoss, or, oh my gosh, what am I saying, my cut and boss. And then this thing is my workhorse. I use that a whole lot. That's my Stampin' Up! Big Shot. Okay, and then under here, sorry about the wires. Wires. Um, this is just a basket of stuff. I was in the middle of working on uh, projects. And some of this is just like me playing around. Trying to play around with mixed media. Nothing's finished in here. Um, yeah, I just tossed it in there so I could <laughs> do this video without having it all over the table. I keep a blanket in here for when it's cold. So, these are the other three storage ottomans, which is a, if you are limited on space and you want something, just um, a cute way to store your stuff. These are from Walmart. They don't cost that much. Um, I don't think. Um, so, in this one, I keep my felt. And I had to figure out ways. Actually, this is just, it comes like this. It has two parts to it. It has this little section here that lifts out. And then down there, I have a bunch of towels that I'm supposed to be decorating. Just plain white towels. And then the little uh, top section just hooks on. Uh oh, where's my other hook? There it is. Hooks on like that. So that's kind of cool. And you also have extra seating. Nice soft. They're soft. I wanted the soft ones. Okay. And then we have, and here I keep my lace. This is all lace in the top part. Oops. I feel like I keep taking the camera out of, like, having you look at a rug or, you know, stuff. This has, these are, like, projects that I started. This was a really cool blanket. Um, I started a while ago. And what it was is when you finished the blanket, you would have learned, like, 61, I want to say 61 different crochet stitches but I didn't I never finished it I did do a f quite a few and then these are scraps actually from the I made some uh, dress form uh, pin cushions so these are scraps some of this is scraps from that okay so I'm gonna put that back on there and then this last one has yarn in it on the top. Lots of yarn. Oh my goodness. More yarn on the bottom. I'm tossing yarn everywhere. Oh well, you can see in there. More yarn. Okay. So there's all that. I'm going to fix that after I go off camera. And I'm going to stand up here. Well, at least get on my knees. So there's that section. And then this is my actual RAS cog. I'm thinking about getting some spray paint and painting it. Because I really wanted it to be teal. <laughs> but on here, um, I keep the most current uh, Stampin' Up! products. Like most current stamps. These are the Celebration stamps. 
Uh, these are the most current dies back in here. Um, these are oh, different things. These are the things that I use a lot, like, you know, mini blue dots, my snail adhesive, um, bling, stuff like that. All kind of adhesives. And these are the newest colors of the markers. Can you see that? Let's put that back in there. And then um, I believe that's a celebration thing. I need some more memory memories and more cards. Just three different sets right there. Okay, um, and then most current punches, some more adhesive, um, my cleaners for my stamps. And then down here, I have my hydras. Love those, those are fun. And then my two ATG guns. This one actually needs, I need to find the tape that fits that again. Um, it takes like a half inch, I think, and it was called gold. I think that's what it was called. I don't know. I haven't bought it in years. Um, mainly I used the quarter inch in this one, but I would need an adapter for that one to use it. But why get an adapter when I can just find the um, size that fits there and use that? It's good to have more than one size sometimes. So I started keeping one of my heat tools in here because I use it a lot and baby wipes like baby wipes all over the uh, craft room. <laughs> my One of my trash cans, just a little one, and it's nice because I can just roll that over to the island and uh, get, you know, get stamping and crafting. So that's it for this side of the room. So I, I hope you will come back for part three. And if I missed anything, if I kind of glanced over or yeah, glanced over something and you were like, what was that? <laughs> Just leave me a comment and I will um, try to get back to it for you. So thanks for watching. See you in part three.